welcome back to my channel. So today I will finally give you a makeup tutorial and it is obviously of this look right here. And I was so excited to record this because I haven't done a makeup tutorial since, ooh, well, last week. <laughs> but it feels like I haven't done a like normal quote unquote makeup tutorial for a while. So today I was actually inspired by the <laughs> the weather. Yeah. We just have had some sun these couple of days here in Sweden and we we don't have that much sun here. So uh I have been just like over the moon. <laughs> I can't, can't say over the moon. We're talking about the sun here. So yeah, if you want to see how I created this look, thank you for watching. So today I will be starting off this video by priming my face with the Optical Illusion Primer from Urban Decay. And I have recently fallen in love with this one. It's so good. Then I will be mixing my Born This Way foundation from Too Faced with Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 230 and Max Red Light Strobe Cream. I will then apply the mixture with a damp beauty blender. Next, I'm using my go-to cream contour product. Well, it's not really a contour product, but if you're a true follower, you would know by now that I always use the Milani Perfect 2-in-1 foundation in the shade Spiced Almond as my contour shade. And I'm just applying this with a brush and then just blend it all out with a damp beauty blender. Then I'm going in with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20 to highlight underneath my eyes, chin, forehead and underneath my contour to get those cheekbones to look a bit sharper. And I'm also blending this out with the same damp beauty blender. Next, I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to bake where I normally crease up or get oily. So underneath my eyes, around my mouth area, forehead and around my nose. I'm then going in with my favorite foundation powder from NYX and I'm applying this mainly to my cheeks to prep for my contour. So next, I'm going to contour just a little bit with NYX Contour Kit and you guys, I will actually actually do a giveaway soon where one of you can win one of these among other things. And you know how much I love this contour kit so it's amazing to announce that I will now be able to give one of you this one so yeah. I then just dusted away my powder and I'm now going in with my do-it-yourself setting spray and link to that video is down below if you want to check it out. I then just very awkwardly waved my hands to set my face. I mean it kind of reminded me about Nicole Kidman at the Oscars if any of you saw that. <laughs> <laughs> and I then just lay down my peach fuzz by rolling my beauty blender in downward motions. Next I'm going in with some cream blush and some strobe cream from the MAC James Colliardo's collection, <laughs> I think it's called. <laughs> and this one is the Moon of Saturn Full Face Kit. So first I'm going into the cream blush with my beauty blender and gently working it into my skin. And then I went into the strobe cream and applied it as a base for my highlighter. So uh, yeah, in this video I actually dropped my uh, newfound love. And my newfound love actually broke. Uh, my Ofra Blissful highlighter is now shattered and pretty much dead. May you rest in peace. I got it two weeks ago, you guys. Two weeks. And I I mean, I will still use it even though it's broken. I mean, broken makeup do looks pretty ratchet, but I don't mind. Like, it's too beautiful to throw away. I can't. So next, I'm going in with a blush from The Bomb. And this is the In Stain blush from The Bomb in the shade Swiss Dot. 
So we are now moving on to the eyes. And first I'm going in with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly to prime my lids. I will then move on to today's base shadow and for that I will use Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie and I will apply it all over my lid and up towards my brow bone. Next I will go in with Makeup Geek's Chickadee and I will use this as my transition shade for today's eye look. And this will create the perfect yellowy orangey <laughs> transition shade for the darker orangey shade that we will use later on. <laughs> So to darken up this eye look, I will use a darker orangey shade called WRO40 from the Sueva Warm Spectrum palette. I don't really know why I'm not using this palette a lot more because the shadows are amazing. Anyways, I just blended this into my crease and I also dragged it down my lower lash row with a smaller brush, also from Sueva. And if you're wondering what kind of brushes I am using, I will start to list them down below as well. So next I will actually go in with a highlighter, but it's beautiful to wear as an eyeshadow and it is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Gold Deposit. And if you spray your brush with some Fix Plus before, it will actually give you that golden, orangey, gorgeous shimmer that I wanted for my lids today, so that was perfect. So now I will go in with a shimmery pen of some sort. I got a PR packaging from N07 a couple of months ago, and this one was among the things that I got, and it's actually really, really pretty. And on top of that, I will apply two coats of the Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner from Urban Decay in the shade Midnight Cowboy. So for my upper waterline, I will be using my MAC Gel Liner in Black Track, per usual. It does not smudge and it's just amazing. I recommend everybody to go out and get it. Simple as that. And for my lower waterline, I will be using another product from NO7. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But anyways, it is the Stay Perfect Amazing Eye Pencil in the shade Bronze. And for my winged eyeliner today, I will use my beloved Schwing Eyeliner from The Bomb. I actually wish they did a waterproof version of this one because it's so good. It's so good. It's so matte. It's so like black and it's just, oh, it's, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> So I always set my face before I apply my mascara because whenever I set my face with mascara, I always end up looking like a raccoon. Lashes comes off and life is ruined. So I will now set my face with the new all-nighter setting spray from Urban Decay. So now I'm just curling my lashes, prepping them for mascara. Then we will go in with not one mascara, but two mascaras. Shocker, right? <laughs> for my upper lashes, I will use Max Up. Lash Mascara and for my lower lashes, I will use my Maybelline Spider Colossal Mascara. Now for lashes, I will actually not use eBay lashes today, I know. But instead, I will use NYX Wicked Lashes in the style Amplified. I just love how they look and they went so good with this look, I'm obsessed. For my lips, I will start out by lining them with MAC Lip Liner in the shade Oak. And then I went in with two glosses, one lip gloss from MAC and one lip gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I ended up not feeling it. I mean, it was cute and all, but I just felt 
too basic, if you know what I mean. I mean, nothing special, so to speak. And I wanted this look to be much more goldish, if that makes any sense. So I ended up wiping it away and I went in with Gilded Lip Gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills instead and I really, really loved how it all came out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that was it for today, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Per usual, I had a lot of fun today. And yeah, I'm very excited for for spring and summer. It's not really spring here yet because I mean, I don't really know what's going on, but we got some like hail yesterday and you know, last week we had some snow. So, you know, you like when you live here, you don't really know from day to day because I mean, you could get snow overnight, so yeah, I, I just really hope that we will get our spring now because I would be more than happy to drop some layers of clothes and actually go out and do stuff because you don't really get to do stuff when it's, you know, when, it, when the weather is how it is here, so yeah. I'm going to stop talking now and if you enjoyed this video then please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys! Now I'm on the outside.